Next here at four new details just revealed about a fire that led to the death of Lexington Fire Ronnie Metcalf. Captain. He died last month while fighting a house fire on 5th Street. Kelly Kendall is following this story for us today and Kelly, the city shared new information earlier today. What are they doing in response to his death? Lindsay Devante, the city of Lexington says it has conducted an evaluation after the tragic death of Lexington Fire Captain Ronnie Metcalf. Now we still don't know what caused the fire on 5th Street, but we do know two suspects identified by investigators were seen on surveillance video in and around the house before and during the fire. I'm Paul Jarrett, Fire Chief of the Lexington Fire Department. In a video, Lexington Fire Chief Paul Jarrett says Metcalf was one of four firefighters who responded to the raging house fire on March 26. The city said there was near zero visibility inside the 5th Street home while Metcalf and another firefighter attempted to spray water on the fire. Metcalf told his partner he was moving to get more hose, and soon after, the team was told to evacuate. As soon as it was determined that Captain Metcalf hadn't made it out of the building, a separate team of firefighters on the scene called a Rapid Intervention Team, or RIT, along with a hose team, immediately began search and rescue. The city of Lexington says Brandon Hoskins and Stacy Stiegel, the two suspects seen on surveillance video, actually approached police during the fire. Police have charged them with breaking and entering at the house where the fire occurred and another house, as well as drug possession charges. Amid the new details, firefighters continue to honor Metcalf's life and legacy. And his family, he's got a great family that we're helping. A benefit will be held Saturday by four local fire departments. They will be serving up barbecue and sides at the Southern Theater and Event Center in Denton. And it's going to support them through all this and the tragic loss. And so we're just trying to help them a little bit. So that's one less thing they have to worry about is funds to keep their bills paid. The fire departments are preparing 1,500 plates of food and working through the night to do so. To honor Ronnie is a closure kind of for us as the fire departments and friends to him. The investigation into the fire is ongoing. In the meantime, Cook says plates will start being served at 1130 a.m. and can be dine in or carry out. Donations can be made in cash or by check through the Ronnie Metcalf Fund. In Lexington, I'm Kelly Kendall, WXII 12 News. And we'll continue to follow this developing story on air and online. You can find more resources to help the Metcalf family by visiting WXII12.com. Minor is being charged for threatening Northwest Middle School in Winston-Salem. Forsyth County deputies arrested the suspect for making a threatening social media post against the campus. This is the third student deputies have charged for making school threats this week alone. One was also charged for making a threat against that same school. Another child was charged for making a threat against Flat Rock Middle School. Winston-Salem police made their first arrest after a fight with weapons earlier this week. Police say that fight happened in the midst of 200 people on Patterson Avenue. Today, officers charge Akima Hargrove with two misdemeanors. On Tuesday, police found hundreds of people in the street during that fight. They say multiple people jumped on police cruisers and did not cooperate during their response. Police say no one was hurt. Winston-Salem police are investigating a deadly crash that happened on University Parkway near Northwest Boulevard yesterday. Officers say Michael Montgomery was speeding and driving aggressively and hit two other cars. Montgomery went off the road hitting a pole and died at the scene. One of the drivers hit was taken to the hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. Greensboro police say they're looking into what caused a driver to crash on Interstate 840 yesterday. It happened between Burlington Road and I-4085. Officers say two people were taken to the hospital, one with life-threatening injuries.